Hey. No, not at all. Not at all. Like as I said, there's a slight tactical adaptation where as I said there's a give you cause to believe you make you feel you made real progress in your time. Can you see it? Well I think it was great for we've played a lot better than that, I believe, and and either drew a game or lost a game. But what it does it shows that the resilience <clears throat> it was obviously disappointing for them last night going out after a terrific win, but I think it's just it's year year on year, isn't it? It's obviously the first time in what I think it was seventeen years was the, the number that, that no English team has been in the quarter final. But I think you get that you, I think it was similar last year they talked about the Spanish teams. There was no Spanish teams about it. So I just think year on year it'll it'll change. It just happens to be this year that some of the English teams have had Difficult games, difficult groups, and somehow haven't found their way through. So uh, next year it could be the German teams. I think there's no doubt the, the the Barclays Premier League is one of the top three strongest leagues in the world. So uh, and we got some outstanding players, but for whatever reason this year they just haven't gone through. So, uh, but um, I think that's that would be my take on it. For yourselves, is Chinonia? Not thinking about it, Lenny. To be honest, we are. Uh, our only focus is, is for Southampton. You know, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. Our, our concentration and focus in the second part of the season has been outstanding. And um, we had a really tough game physically and mentally against Tottenham, who have proven why they're one of the top teams. Brilliant result for us. Um, and this week has really been about getting refocused again and, and energised for a really tough game against Southampton. And, and after that, as I said, that, that's the only thought. I think you first of all got to go back to Nigel Atkins. I think that's who I would, I would start with because Nigel obviously has done a brilliant job and, and got relieved of his duties there. But you've got to say that the job that he did there was incredible. You know, to get two consecutive promotions and the style of football and the brand of football that they're playing was very much his brand. And and I've seen that because I've seen them in, in League One and I've seen them come through in the Championship and in of the teams that has come up, that is the team that has really, really impressed me with their idea of football and how they've tried to play. Um, so, and I think obviously for him to lose his job, because initially at the beginning of the season it took them a wee bit of time, which it does do when you're a newly promoted team to find your feet in what is an incredibly difficult league. But uh, but as the season went on, Nigel and the uh, and the players really settled into it, and uh, and they looked like they were well on course to to stay in the league. Unfortunately for him, and, and certainly nothing to do with results, he lost his job. Um, and the new What's the reason behind that, and, and what is the situation with regards to that? Well, it's very simple. None of them's available for loan. I'm not sure where the stories have come from, to be honest. Um, they're both young players that have played a lot this year. And, uh, as I said, they've been very much a, a part of our group. And, as you see, with Raheem, he's, he, he's been outstanding this year, the kids. So... In particular, him, he's only young, and we, we need to nurture him and protect him. So, um, and, and on top of that, we've got a very small squad, very small, and, and those two boys are, are real integral parts of the group at this moment in time. So, so no, that, that's something that, that won't happen. The managers coming in and, and with a similar idea and a similar philosophy, and, and they've obviously uh, looked to perform from there. And I think, as I said, the performances in the May and across the season have been good. Maybe adapted it slightly in terms of how they press the ball, press the ball in different areas of the field. Um, but overall, it'll be a very, you know, a very difficult game for us, especially there at home because they've they've played very well, especially against the top teams. And uh, you've seen the game against Manchester City, and <clears throat> even the defeat against Manchester United was a tough game at home. The Arsenal game, so um, so they're a team that it's you know, they'll push us for sure, and and we'll need to be at our best to get the result. Did you not see that? See you tomorrow. Okay.